And when you created Access Bank, your ambition was to create the most respected bank in Africa. Absolutely. Financial inclusion and sustainability, obviously extremely important for that. Tell me about your sustainability goals. I think for us, sustainability is a very important part of our business. Um, issues that have to do with people, planet and profits, very, very important. So we, together with the Central Bank of Nigeria several years ago, launched the Nigerian Sustainability Banking Principles. And I think for several years, we have been at the lead of it. Things that have to do with gender balance. We've started supporting female entrepreneurs. We introduced things like the maternal health care scheme, which, things which are not very um, normal in the context of the continent. But apart from that, I think the most recent aspect, which gives us a lot of pride, is the fact that we launched a green bond. And that green bond is Climate Bond Initiative certified. It's the first in the continent. And the more we do these things, the more we think other corporates will take a lead and therefore lift up the continent as far as sustainability is concerned. And I think if you keep us side by side, most institutions in the continent and world over, I think we're exactly where we want to be. As you say, supporting women has always been very important to Access Bank. How has that evolved over time? When we first started this whole initiative, we initially thought about supporting women financially, professional women, women who were entrepreneurial. And we said we wanted to take 20 women from zero in terms of turnover to a billion naira in terms of turnover over five years. And we, we, over the five years, you know, that from 2006 to 2011, I think we did very well. But we then went sat back and said, look, this whole thing about gender support can be done differently. There's so much more apart from finance that we need to give. Finance is important, but it's not everything. So we emerged into what we refer to as the Access Women's Network. This was about creating a forum where we inspire, connect, and empower women. We created portals through which women could be supportive of themselves. We created portals where we could support women. For instance, if you needed an accountant, you could get an accountant to look at your books at rates that were subsidized. Because for a lot of them who were becoming entrepreneurial, they needed to be taught a bit more in terms of the basic things around accounting and all of that. And then we deepened our capacity building as far as this was concerned. So twice a year, we would take women, um, train them, uh, for those who are at the beginning, early stages of their business, support them from a capacity building standpoint. For those who are at a more mature level, teach them about issues around successful planning for their businesses. So that was what Access Women Network was built around. And I think today it's got to a mature stage. We have tens of thousands of women who are part of that network. They meet at different points in time in the year, discussing the typical issues that the gender has to deal with. How does your mission inform what you do, both in terms of the services that you're offering to your customers and also across the continent, working across borders and building your brand? Our mission is very simple. It's setting standards for sustainable business practices, unleash the talents of our employees, deliver superior value to our customers and provide innovative solutions to the markets and communities we serve. And what that does simply is to say, we will do business, but we will do business responsibly. We will do it sustainably. And it's something we have been celebrated world over for, and we remain extremely proud of it. So it may not be the most profitable thing in the short term, all right, defined in strict financial terms, but in, in the larger sense, and, and looking at it over time, doing business responsibly or sustainably is the only way to live. Thanks for watching. Click now to find out how Access Bank's corporate governance has evolved since its merger with Diamond Bank. Learn more at accessbankplc.com and please subscribe for the latest international business insights from worldfinance.com.